Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Vinci. If this is your first time of being to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. But if I return a subscriber, you are welcome to thank you for the loyalty. Today I'm going to show how to make this woven pattern. You can use it for your pocket and for your kaftan design. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, to do this design, you are going to need a cloth gum which is this white one you are seeing here and you are going to need three different fabrics that are of contrasting colors three different colors of fabric and they have to be contrasting colors they are like you cannot use colors that are closely alike you cannot use navy blue and black or white and off white no you can't so you are going to need a cloth gum of height 14 inches and width 8 inches right so the next thing you are going to do is you are going to uh, mark a grid line of about three quarter inches each three quarter inch three quarter inch three quarter inch three quarter inch up fill it up and then rule a grid line on it even though this is not really necessary all right so the next thing you are going to do is you are going to make a stripe a strip or a stripe out of three different fabrics the stripe you are going to make should be of width three quarter inch that's 0 0.75 and the height should be about 15 to 20 inches all right so you are going to just fold it like this and then trim it off like that and then you fold it one more time and then this time around the folding should be about three quarter inch that's 0 0.75 like that as you can see 0 0.753 quarter and then you press it with your iron and again you open it and trim off that is how to do it that's it so you can see i've done all my um strips you can do up to 10 if you have time and enough fabric and then you, as you can see this is the white also and then this is the navy blue right so this is all i need so let's get into how it is done okay so what you are going to do next is you are going to arrange one of the colors in my own case i'm, I'm using the blue the navy blue you are going to arrange it like this arrange them closely to each other like this make sure they are closely together there shouldn't be any space then you just okay i forgot something first of all the your cloth gum should be where you're going to draw the line should be facing up or that is the the line you're going to draw should be on the gummy part right so that you can easily gum this edge as you can see i'm gumming it to the um to the cloth gum and it is gum now to, so that it, it will fasten it to stay together and i'm going to trim off this part and turn it and also gum this other part arrange it make sure it's neatly and closely arranged like that and then you also go just the edge don't go far in just the edge yeah so this is all about this which is quite easy of course this part is quite easy so you are going to turn it the way i turn it then you are going to number one two three one two three just number them up like that one two three one two three one two three right one two three one two three there's a reason why i numbered it that way so the next thing you're going to need a seam ripper or um safety what was it called now is this safety pin or office pin and you're going to pass it now there is a pattern how it is passed so you're going to go for the number one you're going to go over one and then under two like that over one again and then under two you can see then over one and then it will go under two again that is the number one pattern you can't go if you go outside what i'm doing now for the number one you are wrong it has to go under one over two no sorry over one under two over one under two over one under two that's for number one pattern then for the number two pattern it should go under one 
over one under one over one and then under two over one under two and over one again that is it so the second pattern is under one over one then under two over one under two over one like that that is the second pattern then the third part the third pattern is under two over one then under two over one then under two and over one again so the third pattern is quite easy is under two over one under two over one under two over one like that is quite straightforward the only one that's a little bit complicated is the second pattern which is under one over one then under two over one under two over one under two over one like that right don't forget it. so let me just explain it for you these are the trick this is the um trick you need you can just post it and go over it this is the trick you need number one number two and number three so i've done all my patterns like this so after you've done the one two three you start again one two three if it's big enough you start again one two three like that like that so for the next one the next pattern which is the one that's a little bit confusing is you're going to put the blue under the white and then you come a step lower and come out to the next white you can see i enter let me come again so i enter through this white then you come a step lower and bring it out through this white over here then you enter through this other white again come out through this white again and come down a step lower and bring it out through this white here then you come in through this white but of course there's no other step lower so you can just hide it under the white and stop there since there's no other white that is a step lower so you can just hide it under it and stop there so right from here now you're just going to arrange a blue down and then some blue up again you're just going to go this way under this white You go under this white and then you come a step lower bring it out to this white like that guys if you derive value in my video in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and click the um bell button so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to watch it of course i'm always bringing fire tutorial so don't forget to always subscribe if you are if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i've put in energy a lot of energy into creating this video that's the least you can do to me giving me a like giving me a like and then subscribe if you've not subscribed so that's it you can just hide it under it since there's no other one you can go under so you can see i skipped a complete line i skipped a complete line so i'm coming back to it so you can see this seam repair is actually giving me an issue so maybe you should use um there's this oh, is it safety pin they call it you can use it So go in here and come a step lower and bring the blue out through the white a step lower and then you go in here go in through this white and bring it a step lower like that that's it you can see our pattern is gradually coming out our pattern is gradually coming out beautifully that's it so let's go to the up
so this time around we'll go in from here and then we'll come down a step lower and come out there there you go you can see how clean this is quite easy but it's a little bit confusing but i trust trust me when you understand it is very very easy come out through this white you can see how it is then you can hide it there because there is no step ahead of um over it there's no step on top of this one so that's why it's hidden under this one so you can see how it is so the next thing they just come a little bit down now to this left um left hand side so if you're going through here we'll go a step lower So there's no one where we can go into so we'll just assume that we've already entered one then we'll come out through here a step lower then you go in here again and just hide it because there's no other step lower you can see it you can see how our pattern is already coming out this is quite easy quite easy so let's do it upwards again you can see I'm going up down up down just to fill it up so this is it I've done everything and this is how it looks it's easy guys just give it a try watch this video over and over again this is how it looks this is how it looks it's quite easy remember when you're going through here you come down a step lower come down go through there come down a step lower and go out through here go through inside here come down a step lower and come out here that's how it is it's quite easy go through there come down a step lower go through there come down with step lower is quite easy even though i know this is the, the blue one is the complicated one but if you sit down and go through it you understand it so guys this is all about the tutorial the next thing you're going to do is just to press it you know it's it is a, it has gone under it so just press it to keep them together all right so guys if you've not um joined my whatsapp group i'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can join my whatsapp group and you can interact with me and other fashion designers worldwide we have about 200 over 200 members so you have people you can ask questions if you are confused about something so don't forget to join my whatsapp group using the link in the description so guys thank you so much for your time it's a pleasure doing this as you can see this that's the only part we are going to use for our pocket even though i'm not going to do the pocket on this i'm going to do the pocket on in another tutorial this tutorial is strictly to show you how to do the pattern how to bring out the weaving pattern right so guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe you all know you know you know how it is i'm just bringing great great tutorials here for you so please subscribe so that you can enjoy for free so make sure everywhere is gone make sure everywhere is gone don't leave everything any anywhere on gummed in another tutorial i'm going to just explain to you guys how to use it how to use this pattern to make a pocket i'm going to use it to make create a pocket actually so thank you so much guy for your you guys you can see how clean it is and it's stiff now because i've gummed it to the um, cloth gum and you can just cut off the excesses thank you so much guys have a great day bye